Up next on Live It Up is a woman with a very touching, heartfelt story. It's Christine Pirelli. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. We've talked a few times on the phone now. Um, I want to talk about AJ. I want to talk about your son and uh, your foundation. Uh, my son AJ was um, a professional actor, dancer, singer. It was always his passion from he was two. I knew from early on that he wanted to be on stage. He loved music. He loved dance. He loved Sesame Street. He thought we lived on Sesame Street because <laughs> we live in the city and there was a little corner deli and he would look for Mr. Hooper when we would go out. So um, when he was seven, we moved to Florida and he started with acting classes as a child, did theater, and went on to be a professional dancer from there. Um, in 2013, after he had come back off tour, he had a head injury and we lost him. Passed away from his head injury. Yeah, it was uh, a small brain bleed that, um, very similar to some other stars that we know of that lost family members. They told us that it was, you know, something they were going to monitor and 18 hours later it was brain death, leading to brain death. You have a, a plethora of talent in your family. Can you give us a, a broad <laughs> spectrum of who the people are, you know, who the people are in your family? Um, my, I am a mother of four. Uh, AJ would have been 30 this year. And he performed um, overseas as a dancer, as a professional dancer for Disney, and uh, also acted and uh, sang. He sang with the village people, actually, for six months before he passed away. My second son, Michael, is 27, and he is a um, guitar player and writer and singer. And then my daughter just got, she's a singer and a dancer, and just got picked up to do something overseas, which I can't announce yet, but she's a beautiful singer. And then my youngest is a singer as well. Um, he's not pursuing it as much. He's kind of going the medical field, but um, all of them. And my husband's a cameraman editor. There you go. <laughs> so, so all of you come from this like entertainment background. You all have this like connection to that, to, to the content, to the visual story, to making people feel good, to making people happy, to yes. enriching their lives. Yes. And so after you lost AJ and he passed away, what was the moment of epiphany for your family where you said, hmm, let's do something in his honor. Let's, let's do something to make a difference. When he passed away, this world of creative artists embraced us worldwide. People drove from all over and flew in because we had a, a week long time of being with him at the hospital and then there was another few weeks before we could pass uh, bury him and then we did a big event in Florida where we lived for for 17 years um, and it was almost a three month hug and during that time people set up funds for us and um, we did what we needed to do with it taking care of uh, the needs of his burial, because who plans for your child to be buried? Many, many of us don't. No, no, no. It's not a reality that we all think of. And we had money left over. I'm, I'm a frugal mom. And um, I decided I wanted to do something special with it. So we were going to do a scholarship fund. And uh, I put out on Facebook, hey, listen, I want to have a get-together and discuss how to spend this remaining money. And 25 people showed up. And from there, from this little scholarship that we were going to do for an acting school for second year students, it turned into the AJ Project. And the AJ Project, the funds go where now? Currently, there's two main focuses, and it's hard to marry them because people don't understand. But you um, do because you're yes. his mom. So, yeah. <laughs> so our, our first thing that we were working on was creating a kind of tribe of emerging artists to connect them with professional artists and we do that now through um, creating videos and productions and events for other nonprofits okay. so we connect the uh, the adult or the the professional with the emerging so they can get credits on their demo reel get experience so that's where we started and now we actually started a program at the Boys and Girls Club of Queens um, teaching the kids 
Film Arts and Media. It's called the FAM Club, Film Arts and Media Program, where the kids write and produce and are learning how to edit. This is our first year, so um, it's amazing the engagement that the kids have. That's wonderful. So, so that's, those are the two focuses. That yeah. one more okay. is organ donation awareness. Okay, um, and why is that important to you personally? We had a really odd experience with that whole situation. AJ was registered in Florida as an organ donor, but when he had his license renewed up in New York, it was not on his license. So we were approached. Organ donation is a very strange thing. So many people can sign up, but there's a limited chance that you actually can be an organ donor. There's very, you know, most uh, death donors, because there's live donors now too, which mm -hmm. we can discuss in a moment, but death donors are due to head trauma. And so that limits the amount of people. And when they approached me and said he's not listed as a as a donor, and um, I said, sure he is, it's on his license. And it wasn't. Okay. So we decided because of that and finding out that New York State, New York City is 50, 50th in the country for um, registration, that it, it would be a good thing to do because of AJ, so many people worldwide had the discussion with their families, made sure it was on their driver's license or registered as a donor. And so that's your call to action right now. Yes. I love it. I think you're a powerful, dynamic, wonderful woman. I know that you have annual fundraisers uh, that usually happen in January. Mm -hmm. um, and so if people wanted to find out more, where would they go? We have it, um, all the information is listed on our website. It's the number four, theaj.org. We are a nonprofit. We're a 501c3. And um, you can even look up theajproject.org. Excellent. And, and it's full of entertainment and full of a lot of fun. You have these great fundraisers or somebody could at least just go to your website and make a difference no matter where they are in the world. Absolutely. Thank we you. have a wonderful way of giving back to the community. Um, you can sign up through our website as an organ donor. You can buy a ticket for an emerging artist so they can participate and sponsor somebody to actually perform at our event. Excellent. Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Please you. stay tuned for more on Live It Up. This is absolutely a very worthy cause, and we would hope that you would like to make a difference this way. Thank you.